love with Pat's two cents. Mm -hmm. We're going to deal with, real quick, this is going to be a lot more brief. I'm going to deal with why you need to really check your signals. Do you know some of the problem might be you? Now, a lot of times we put all the blame on the person that throws the blows. But I'm going to tell you, some of you victims have a mouth on you that can make it easy for anybody to pull the trigger, to rear back, to grab that knife. You have got to remember, it always takes two to tango. You're going to feed that thing one way or another. Now, some people, I know there are some people who will never put their hand on a person. But there's always that one person that can egg them on. They know just the right buttons to push. Because, see, we war not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against spiritual wickedness in high places. This thing is demonic. We dealt with it from the, the clinical standpoint in the previous video. But we're going to deal with this now from a spiritual and an emotional standpoint. We're even going to deal with it from an interrelational standpoint. Because I'm going to tell you, there are some of you that don't understand words. You only understand punches, kicks, slaps, fights, cussing, fussing, shouting, sh ruckus, drama. That's all you understand. You feed off of it. So if you get your man or your woman to slap you, Oh, yeah, we're getting into a good fight now. That's the way you look at it. And you don't realize that you end up in a relationship where you are both abusing each other. You cut him down with your tongue, and he slaps you down with his hand. Then you get up, and you slap him with your hand. Then he gets up, and he punches you. And you grab a knife and you chase him around the house. I mean, it's crazy. What is it about that that's fun, that's invigorating for you? No, understand this. There is something sick up here that makes you feed in, fuel, and perpetuate that kind of insanity. Now I know it sounds insulting and I don't mean to be insulting, but you have to face facts. You have to ask yourself, what is so wrong with me that I actually get a charge out of hurting their feelings? I get a charge out of belittling humiliating. I like that. I like saying words of spite. I like that. Yeah. I like making tears come down the cheeks. Oh, I really, oh, wait a minute. Watch this. I can get them so mad. They'll storm out the door and just about slam the door off the hinges. Oh, I know I got them then. Oh, I love pushing buttons. Why? Why are you so sadistic? Because that's what that is. Never thought of it that way, did you? That you are actually sadistic. Some of you, you feel like you have power when you push a man's buttons enough to make them haul off and slap you down. Then what you do is you blame him for hitting you and you turn around and tell everybody else how abusive he is but they don't hear your tongue 
They don't hear what he has to live with. Jab, 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 jab. And you, you ain't nothing but a, and you bet, boy, if I, I <coughs> James chapter three says, excuse me, it is an unruly evil. What it is, is talking about it, the tongue set on the fires of hell and you just let hell's flames just have its way in your house because that is your greatest weapon your tongue <laughs> cut them down baby tear them to shreds yeah you know what my mother told me years ago she said pat don't ever whatever you do I know that you know sometimes we women can have power with the tongue we can really get at somebody but do your best to never ever try to castrate a man with your mouth you can take his very manhood away that's how powerful a woman's mouth is There are some men that won't hit you. And you do everything you can to get them angry enough to blow their stack. But they have self-control and that drives you up the wall. Because you want to knock down, drag out, fight. It ain't a fight that you're throwing blows. And this man is too much of a gentleman. So you abuse him. You cuss at him. You put him down. You humiliate him in public. I don't get it. I really don't get it. Why? Why would you do that to a good man? He's paying the bills. He's taking care of you. He drives you where you need to go. He takes care of your bratty kids that aren't even his. Why? What is wrong with you? Are you the narcissistic one? And your biggest weapon is your tongue? And then some of you go as far as to hitting the men. I saw a thing on, on Facebook. I wish somebody would have gone up and whooped that girl's butt. That's just how bad she was. This man was her boyfriend, whatever he was. She belittled him so horribly, and he stood there with his arms crossed, just kind of cringing and backing away as she punched him and hit him and slapped him in the head. And, and, and no, you say she bullied him. I couldn't believe that she thought that was okay. How many of you really believe that's okay? Well, baby, you better go to God because when Jesus busts those clouds open, you will seriously have hell to pay. And you'll be one of those God, Jesus will say, depart from me, I never knew you. Ye that work iniquity. Because baby, what you're doing is iniquity. It is sinful. It's demonic. It's cruel. And you're sitting there laughing because you think it's cute and it's funny. You won't be laughing when that door closes for eternity and you're locked down. And you think that you've abused somebody? You ain't had no abuse till you get down there. Anyway, I say to you young men who are the victims of these female abusers, get out. I don't care what they threaten you with, get out. Ask God to cover you and get out while you can. This thing is getting out of hand, it's ridiculous. I get so tired of seeing people victimized and treated so meanly, nice people. 